Daisy UI versus Tailwind UI versus this guy UI. Let's just cut all the waffling and get straight into it. The same rules, exact same website. Let's just get on with it. Tailwind UI components. First thing we need is a nav bar. That will do. Create a new component, nav bar. I already feel way more comfortable than I did with Daisy UI, purely because I've got a lot more experience doing this. Can I remember what we need in the nav bar? That's the question. We need about, blog, contact. That is it. I've just realized I haven't installed Tailwind UI properly. Be right back. That's a really good start. I forgot to install headless UI and hero icons, which are needed for Tailwind UI. That's done now. So let's have a little look at what we've got so far. Okay, not bad. All right, I'm just gonna remove that and I'm gonna change the logo to my John Web Dev business name. Really good business name. So let's have a look if I go. Wow, that looks good. Perfect, let's just change the color of that. Brilliant, so we have our nav menu, that's really good. Now we need hero. Now let's go to Tailwind UI. And... Oh, I forgot about the whole color scheme thing, didn't I? Ooh, okay, that's gonna make it a little bit interesting. Oh, can I just change, I can't change the rules, can I? This is gonna make it a little bit more effort, isn't it? I've got an idea, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to change the rules slightly. I'm gonna make it so that every website's color scheme is the Tailwind UI color scheme. That's a lot easier. And I'm gonna change the Daisy UI website so all the colors are the same as what I use in this one. That's what we're gonna do. I do realize that quite a lot of the first video was spent doing the color scheme and that just makes that a waste of time. But the good news is all of this is a waste of time. Anyway, hero. We just want something simple with no images. That will do. Okay. Paste. Get the content. Oh, I just need to delete this. That's something about Tailwind UI I find a little bit strange. The heroes have a nav menu built into them, but in reality, you usually want a separate one. I find that anyway, I would like a separate one. I don't want it built into the hero because then I can't use it on every page that doesn't have a hero. And then I don't want to have all this conditional logic where I have two different nav menus, one where I've got the hero and one where I don't have the hero. If someone cleverer than me can just explain to me why they've done that and why that's actually good, that'd be great. Just let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's put in the content. What are you talking about? I've got a template, I've got a script. What's the problem here? Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. Lovely, bit of a gap there. But I think I said I'm not gonna alter things too much. So I'm not gonna actually touch that. I would reduce that gap if that looks a bit weird, but I'm not going to. That's very good. We've got our nav bar, we've got our hero section. Now we're gonna do the about section, which I'm probably gonna have to do myself again. So I might just skip over this because it's gonna be horrible. Let's have a look what we can find here that might actually do the job that might actually work. Ooh, yeah, that will that will probably work. That saved me, I think. Just there. That's weird. Why? What? What? What's happening? <laughs> Why is it disappearing? Does anyone else find this with Nux that it's sometimes just goes a bit mad and you have to refresh it or you have to stop the server and start it again? Weird. Why is this happening? Moment of truth. It's still there. That's good. Blog section. We want one without images. That will do. I can justify those little images. I can't justify those. I can't justify those. I can justify. I can't justify. I can justify. Let's do this one.
see how much quicker I'm being. It's just purely because I'm used to it. That's not true. It's because when I thought up this challenge, I knew what components existed in Tailwind UI and I didn't know what components existed in Daisy UI. The whole challenge was thought up with Tailwind UI in mind. Uh-oh, what's going on here? What is the meaning of this? Even doubt, stop the server, start the server. Also known as restart the server. Okay, it's probably something I've done then. Silly. Always something stupid, as a general rule, always something stupid. In case I glossed over that there, that was because I pasted an apostrophe into a string which broke the string. So it broke the whole component. Perfect. Cut that. Perfect. That's embarrassing. Not bad. Not terrible. I would probably have longer bits of text here, but at the end of the day, the rules are not allowed. So I'm not going to. Probably should delete these names and images too. We'll leave it for now. Footer section. No, no. Contact section. Getting ahead of myself. I'm just so excited. Simple. That will do, won't it? Good, looking good. Now we need a footer. We are absolutely zooming through this compared to when I did Data UI. Just want a nice, simple one, something easy, small, without links. Yeah, that'll do. We should actually include that. And there we have it. How nice is that? So this is our Tailwind UI website, which we built in less than half an hour. Well, way less than half an hour, actually, because half the time was spent turning the server up off and on again. That's pretty clean looking, really quick to do. I suppose for completeness, I'll add these links in. Just realized something. See, I can't click them. That's because the hero has got some weird Z index going on. Oh, that gives me rage. Does that give anyone else rage? And does anyone know how to stop that? Whenever I press Command F to find something, it tries to find it in the files. Why would I be by default wanting to find something in the files? I always want to find it in this file. Whoever's responsible for that, can you please get that sorted? Something to do with this background is over the top of it. work yeah it works you probably don't care but if you did care this weird gradient cloud image thing was going over the top of the navbar so you couldn't click any of these links next time i'm going to build my own website with my own brain and tailwind but no component library the end